Well, I play a character called Frank Agnew, uh, who is a detective in Detroit. And um, in our opening episode, he has an unholy alliance with Lenny's character. They do something uh, unforgivable, and uh, consequently their world uh, becomes a very dark and complex and interesting place to live. And uh, I play Joe Geddes. Joe Geddes is also a detective in the Detroit Police Force, and um, I, my character originally trained to be a priest and ended up being a cop. And uh, he's as, about as good a cop as he was a priest, I think. I had a connection with uh, the original version, which was shot in the UK about uh, seven or eight years ago. And as an actor, you never get the opportunity to take a character on like that seven or eight years later and mm. take him to a new environment. Originally it was shot in Edinburgh, now it's in Detroit. Um, to work with a whole new fantastic uh, cast and, and set it in a completely different place. So for me, that was, that was really the main impetus and also the idea that you can take that character further. The original was just a, a three hour, two one and a half hour episodes. This potentially has um, you know, a whole great journey to run. Uh, for me, it was pretty much the same thing. I didn't know the, um, the original. I hadn't seen uh, the original at the time. And, uh, but uh, the script that Chris Monday wrote was um, of the batch of scripts that was coming in in my direction uh, last year. This was the best script, and it was um, a part that um, there was a very long queue around the corner who wanted to get this particular part, and I was very happy to get it. He's a very interesting guy, and it's very rare that you, um, uh, you read a character off the page and you don't know where it could possibly go. And, um, or you can't, you know, automatically kind of go, oh, he's gonna end up being the guy that does this, who does that, and does that. That wasn't the case for virtually any of the characters, really, and the, and the kickoff, you know, starting the, the series with the, the murder of a police officer by two other police officers, it's just, it was just gravy. So um, it was a no-brainer, really. There were two things I thought about when I tried to adapt it. I mean, the first is the original was fantastic, but it's only two parts. So it really needed, it, it, I needed to find avenues for it to grow from two and a half hours to hopefully 50 to 100, you know. Um, so that was, that was a lot of it. And, um, and, but the framework of the, of the setup was fantastic, and I was hopefully smart enough not to mess with that too much. But, um, but from there, I really wanted it to be about to my mind, this was a show that was sort of about second chances and what are people willing to do to get a second chance or ho hold on to a second chance. And so I wanted to put it in a, in a backdrop that had the same, the same problem going for the pl sense of place, the, the place that it was. So, so by choosing Detroit for it, I really wanted the city to be a real character in it. Um, and so that was, that was, to me, the biggest thing. Once I knew where I wanted to put it and, and, and have these people kind of walking around. and then. There's sort of the criminal element of it uh, is didn't exist in the in the original, and so so it was really about the ripple effects that happen from this opening horrible act, and all the different ways it touches it, and and, and using and try to figure out why that uh, why this can be only told in the in the city of Detroit. That to me was a way to expand it beyond the British, because the British version was was so good it was just it was just closed ended. It's been fascinating. Detroit's in a very complex place, much like the, the storylines of, of our show. Um, there's, a, there's a preconception, I think, among people that it's a, a wasteland. Obviously it isn't. There's a, a lot of very cool stuff going on there. Um, they're making it very easy for us to film there. I think they're delighted to have us. In fact, one night, I think on a Saturday night, they shut down the main drag, Woodward, so that we could do some filming. We have a really good relationship with the police department there, who are not only very um, forthcoming in how cops work there, but they're, they're helping us film, and um, I'm really looking forward to going back there. I mean, I feel like I, I know New York and LA, like a lot of people who, who don't live in America. Detroit is a whole new ball game, but I got very fond of the place, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to see how it's all gonna develop. No, it, it, it's not. I mean, it gets used as sort of a metaphor for, you know, what was once a great proud place and, and that and, and there, there's obviously elements of that and yet there's so much beauty and pride in that city at the same time it's also is you know there's so much desolation too and 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 we wanted to 
to talk about both. And, 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 and I've spent a lot of time there now and have a real affection for the place. And, and so we wanted to hopefully capture that and not just latch on to one thing or the other. But that, that was our thing, like why these are police officers who are willing to live and die for this place. Why? Because I don't really think of the show as a cop show at all. They just happen to do that job. So, uh, uh, you know, but that was, that informs every decision they make, at least in my mind. The funny thing is, working on a film set is not that different from working on a television set. You have a camera, you have a crew, you have cable, you know, and the, the what you need to do is exactly the same. So, in the working environment, it's not that different. But I've always felt that, you know, I've been doing movies for the last 10 years. In fact, the last bit of television I did was this. Uh, in fact, it's about eight years ago. So, um, uh, the main thing that television can do, I think, is, is it gets into your home. You're not encouraging people to come to the cinema to see it. It doesn't have to pander to the lowest common denominator in order to get you into the cinema. It is delivering storylines into your living room. And it is capable, therefore, especially because it runs to hours rather than just, say, 90 minutes or two hours, it's capable of taking you on a massive journey of you becoming, you know, really acquainted with a particular character or group of characters, their world, and it becomes incredibly absorbing. I mean, that is international. I think the problem with movies is, you know, good movies will also do that, but television has, its scope is so much larger, and the way it's delivered to people to enable them to watch it is so much more kind of intense I think that's its strength. Well, hopefully people are going to like it. I, I, I think they are. I mean, it's a very human story. I mean, obviously it starts with an act, hopefully most of the viewers are not contemplating doing. But, um, but I think there's sort of a deep empathy for the people who did it and, and the people on, on who, that the ripples effects of it touch. And I think there's a sort of deep empathy involved in, in the city. So. You know, we're always, we're always interested in our, the most extreme nature of what you, people are willing to do and not willing to do. And, and I don't think we're, we're certainly not trying to be shocking for shocking's sake. We're actually trying to be quite human. And, uh, and so I think that just translates all the time. I mean, there, you know, if you look at, at all the different, um, you know, all the Swedish dramas that are big across the world right now, I mean, they're still the same kind of things. I mean, it really comes down to kind of core human questions. And, um, the fact that this was originally a British, a British show, you know, cer certain things translate um, beyond place, and and I and I and I think this will. And honestly, like, the actors we have on our show are so good at that uh, that I really feel like that that transcends th those things too, because because they bring such humanity to it. Yeah.